And it was a slaughter. So much of a slaughter. Ooh, infantry combat plus 10. Hello. Cool. Um, am I going to need all 40,000 men going that way? No. Let's split you out and have you guys going that way. You can go there. You can take a sub back. You can move up. Eliminate the big blue blob. I'm working on it. What would have been even better for that CK2 game would be starting in 1066 Dukes. Oh, and the HRE. Yeah, we did talk about the HRE. Um, but in the end, we wanted to do the earlier start. Plus, who doesn't like raiding? Now we can get the Maliki. Let's do that. There we go. Maliki Scholars. I really like what they've done for the Mamluks here. It's really cool. So I do still need to take these two provinces, which I somehow bypassed without really realising. Actually, I'm going to have all of these armies in position to deal with that. I, I'm surprised you're not going for Berber, but okay. We'll just keep on following you. It's fine. I've taken a sub. Karakanulu have insulted me. That is brave. I will send you down there to assist them. Let's go this way. Ooh, we're going to catch you. Hello. And my reinforcements are pouring into the battle. It is a flat plane. I have the advantage. I did not shift consolidate, which I really should have. That would have been far more efficient had I done so. And now you are trying to run away to... Where? You are going to Senar? We will chase you to Senar. And we go to Tegali. And then we go there. And then they're probably there. To Darfur. Cool. You attack that. You attack that. Uh, you can't attack that. Oh, you're going to slip through and just start sieging stuff down from behind me, aren't you? That's not at all annoying. So can we please hurry up with that siege before they get too far away? Oh, come on! Actually, you could go around. Let's go and deal with them. You can stay here. You can go there. Alright, cool. This war against Ethiopia has gone really quite well. We've won the siege of Herrera. Good. You are probably... Going to Berber, because that is the war goal. Battle going on here in Dofor. We won it. Wasn't even a contest, apparently. And are you running, running to Medwa? You are. We've won Shiva. Shiva. Right, uh, those two are under siege. In that case, we'll just send you kind of north in that general direction. And once we've... Actually, you can help take the capital. You have artillery. My vassal probably doesn't. I have a lot of artillery. This is definitely the stage of the game when artillery are amazing. You can go to Tikali. You're probably going to change your mind. I'm going to go there instead. How is your maneuver? Your maneuver is four. Your maneuver is three. I should be catching you. And you are indeed running there. And you are indeed going... No, you're running past Berber. Where are you going? I would say you're probably going for Cairo, but there's no way in hell that you could take Cairo. I have a level 4 fort there, so good luck. I forgot to consolidate again. That would have been an even easier battle. Guys are fine. Where are they running to? There. Chase them and kill them. And I can do some more conversions. Uh, yeah, go ahead. And I can get the final offensive idea. Although I am still waiting to get Military Tech 19, which is a tactics one, so no, we will wait. It's also a new siege 
level. Sieg. And there it is. They are dead. Right, can we please take this capital? Ninety-nine war score, just end it. There we go. Now I can. Right, Wasongli. I have no diplomats. We can probably stop fabricating or uh, stop spy networking on them. We don't really need the siege bonuses anymore. Two, one, zero. Right, sue you for peace. I want all your money. Uh, you are not co-belligerent, so I'm not going to take any of your territory unless you have some territory which belongs to my allies. You don't. In that case, you can do war reps. And that's about it. Send demands. Kachink. And then Ethiopia. In 19 days. The sale of titles. My lord, one of your advisors has suggested selling off titles of nobility to anyone who can afford to pay. So we can get almost 400 ducats, though it would piss off the Amirs, but the merchants would like it. Or we can gain a stability. Um, yeah, you have stability. You could give the land to a doll. There is definitely some land that I want to give to a doll over here. And I'm... You're Coptic. You were... Uh... Yeah, you're Sunni. And I want to go after Ajaran, so I don't want to, like, get too many negatives with other Sunnis. Although, there aren't actually that many left. So maybe I shouldn't be worrying quite so much. One day. There we are. Right, so I definitely want those territories. Uh, are there any really wealthy ones? Actually, they're kind of down here. So, yes. Uh, territories which were cause. We'll give all of those back. Although this would look like I'm going to be feeding a doll a lot. Right, Herrera is the fort. I could take a lot more stuff if I did not take Herrera. Because I kind of want to take the provinces down there because that's where the gold was. Um... Aksum was a claim. I mean, I could give those territories to Adal, or I could just take them for myself. Let's grab these. I definitely want that one too. Uh, like so. Yeah, like so. So I'm not giving you her air, which means they still have a fort, but that's fine. i am got a connection through to this area, which is okay. And they still have some of these back areas. And is there anything of real value? I mean, there's some ivory here. I mean, all of this is just grain. I'm wondering if I didn't take those, although Berber is the war goal, so I probably should take that one. Um, if I could take the ivory instead. Which is those two. Whoops. It would have to be that. Yeah, that's better. So we're taking these two livestock, we're taking the two ivory. The gold, some of the slaves, and then a bunch of coffee. Oh, we could even take some more. Uh, do you have anything else valuable? <laughs> coffee down there would be the only thing, really. Whoops, keep clicking the wrong button. RC, or we could take some of these. Uh, we'll take RC. 
And then a bit of money. Send. I forgot to check what the overextension would be. This might be painful. Oh no, it's not too bad. Cool! So we can definitely start coring some of this. I don't have much war exhaustion. And I can't get to those yet. Um, looks a little bit odd, but Ethiopia is definitely just being gobbled up rather a lot. Well, it's, it's border gore and it's not because a doll is a vassal, so all of this will eventually be mine anyway. And I'm waiting for Miltech 19. Uh, right, coalitions. Nobody gives a rat's ass about my having gobbled up Ethiopia, in which case, all of my armies come to form up over here where I'm totally not going to be doing anything against you guys. Absolutely not. It's not going to happen. You have no reason to worry at all about the sudden arrival of Mamluk forces in the region. None. It, it's totally fine, guys. Who are you? Spy Network and Mazdaran, you were caught before you could actually get any claims. That is unfortunate, because I'm going to need a claim in Mazdaran before I can actually go after them. Do I have anything like that? Yeah, it'd be no CB. No CB is best CB. I mean, I could attack Karakanulu, co belligerize Mazdaran, which would then bring in Uzbek. Who is only a well, is only who is a horde, and I think they have been causing problems to Russia. So I'm, I kind of want to leave them alive. I really do kind of want to leave them alive. Not sure, not sure. Also, I have a lot of money. Which I could use to build buildings. Of course I could. Err. Uh, Buildings. Workshops. Adana definitely needs one. You need one. You need one. Marketplaces? Oh yeah, Basra needs one. A couple of great mosques, although these cost significantly more. Oh, that's showing. Wait, what is that showing? So you would be more because it's less of an investment. These are increasing so much because it's going straight to a Grand Mosque. I see. And then these are literally just workshops. I think I'm going to continue with the workshops, although my tax efficiency tends to be better. That is not true. My production efficiency is actually amazing because I'm development. Uh, because I'm uh, economic ideas, that's what I'm trying to say. So yes, I'm going to build workshops. It fluctuates a hell of a lot less than the rest as well. Should build some manufactories. I have actually got some already. I mean, yes, I, I can always do with some more, but I, I do have some already. The other thing I need to be wary of is the fact that we can actually have uprisings down here. Oh, I really want that idea. Stop provoking me. Stop tempting me. I will reject your advances. Let's go up to speed 5 again. Just while we're getting into position. And joining right and for begin for blah. blah. Enjoining right and forbidding. I can't speak today. Enjoining right and forbidding wrong. Muslims are encouraged in the Quran to take an active role in the community in order to enjoin right and forbid wrong. While this command has been interpreted in many ways by Muslim scholars, it was sometimes used by reformist groups to justify the forceful spread of more extreme views. A group of charismatic mosque preachers in al Kahira have begun calling for an end of unorthodox religious practices and are inciting the populace against the Sufis, leading to violence and street battles. So stomp down on the movement and get more legalism or offer them our support and get more 
mysticism where we're going. We are going legalism because it seems to be way easier to raise. And also, I have another missionary that could be doing some work right now. Alright, Karakanulu probably has no idea that it's about this impending apocalypse that's coming in. None. I'm using all of the subtlety in the world. Also, Kara, I should be spy networking against you to make the sieges go faster. I can sell off Egyptian slaves for even more money. Do it. And with that even more money, I'm going to build even more buildings. In fact, I could do some manufactories. 0.44, that's quite good. 0.79, that's going to be amazing. 0.64, that's pretty good for textile. 0.53 is pretty good for farming. 0.41, yeah. 3.5, yeah. 0.53. Six fours for these. There we go. Bunch more manufactories. So if I did ever export this to uh, Victoria 2, I would have a lot of factories at the start of the game. And I can convert another. Also, can I reduce overextension anymore? No. That's a good point, actually. I could and should not attack straight away because my overextension is already fairly high and I'm kind of expecting this war to be relatively quick. So, let's go and sit on wherever I have got Military bases, also known as forts, with my armies. Just so we're not suffering attrition. And then I'm just going to merge you and drill you. I'm missing an army still. Where are you? I really am. I'm, I'm missing a 15k stack. Oh, you're probably over there. You're not over there. Oh, you're all the way up there. I see. Alright, that'll do. And then you... What's the... We'll just start drilling you for a bit. Until we are actually ready to attack. Gustavian infantry. Boyar! More military tactics with which to use against Akanulu. They're already on a 19. We're on a 19. We're all ahead of time. And then group and J. Alright, so all of the units are now training. Drilling. Which is going to mean my professionalism is going to be going through the roof because I have 100% of my army training. And I'm still making money. <laughs> I love the Mameluke economy, it's obscene. Getting a bunch of core creations, doing a bunch of building, getting some more manufactories. Hmm. And the universities will be done too. Am I seriously short one university? Oh, that could be rectified. Build me another university. I thought I had all five. Apparently I miscounted. I would like this done by trade good. And I would like to build my university in... I have no idea where any of these places are. I really wish you just told me how much they were worth. Like, what's the total development here? Dash. Tistan. There it is. What is your development? You're not going to tell me. Seven. So probably a good thing I didn't do that. Right, next up. Shushtar and then Fasa. Shushta. Six. And then Fasha. Ten. Fasha would be best, but it's mountainous, so it probably isn't actually. Dashistan is plains. And then Shushtar is. Oh, wait. You're. Dry lands. 
your planes. Possible number of buildings plus one. Cost is really low. Movement cost plus five, so Shushtar would be the best option. You can have university. The famous university of Shushtar. Am I going to form Arabia? Uh, eventually. Probably. Although I really like the Mamluk government, so I'm not sure. No, you, you keep the Mamluk government. Because it doesn't say that you don't. So yeah, probably. I just need to conquer the rest. Rebel factions are forming rather quickly. I'm not appreciating that. And I have too few rivals. Uh, oh! <laughs> Karakanulu. Oh, this is going to be bad times for you. Do I need to have three? I don't need to have three. And I can do another cultural interaction for more power cost reduction. Am I going to be doing any of that anytime soon? No. Not really. So we'll just keep you in the back pocket. If dude bro dies, then so it goes. Gain a skill to stability cost modifier artist. With peace in our country, the great musicians, artists, and poets are rejoicing in the capabilities of entertaining their betters. This era of cultural enlightenment is definitely improving the mood of the Mamluks. Are you any good? Oh, I have a level 3 already. Although you are an Egyptian, so you're not terrible. The other thing I could do is just promote these guys. Although they don't have the 50% off. No, that's a terrible idea. Proliferation of the muskets. As firearms have grown commonplace, old regiments of elite troops no longer fills the same function as sharpshooters and pioneers. They've done much to develop our armies over time and will now be dispersed among the other regiments. So we lose elite regiments and we gain 2.5 army professionalism. Which we've had as a decision forever. Don't even remember what it does. Oh, right. I think it just gave us free stuff. Like... Is it one of these? Elite Regiments. There it is. Uh, increases land maintenance modifier by 15% and army drill gain modifier plus 40%. So we don't gain drill as quickly anymore. Drill did seem to be going up very quickly, so that kind of makes sense. It also means my army is now cheaper, which means more money! For more stuff and things. Just need to wait for those cores to finish. Can I get any more fabrications, I wonder? And Mazduran, am I able to fabricate anything on you yet? I think I can. No, I can't. Because I can't actually reach you. Damn it. So I'm going to have to co belligerize them. Ooh, Uzbek's under serious attack by Russia. Oh, this would be an amazing time to attack. I think I've got to do it now, because I don't think Mazdaran would join the war. So if I were, theoretically, to declare war on you, Uzbek would not join. Alright then, problem solved. Uh, all of you guys, stop training. Start regaining some morale. I'll wait a month, maybe two. Have I vassalized Baluchistan? No, not yet. They were too big last time I checked. Or do I want to wait two months? I'll wait two months, because I suspect this war will be going for a while. Army is the way to glory. Our focus on land has left many feeling that we are an excellent army. Some of our brightest and best wish to become officers in it. Damn straight. Right. Now I think we're ready for this war. So we're going to attack Karakanulu. We are going to co Russia's allies. Oh, for Pete's sake. They're guaranteed by Russia. Well, we can still co Mazdaran. That's not a problem. I'm just wondering if I want to deal with the Russian hordes. I mean, I can... I can. I have a very big army. They are already taking mercenaries. They have very little manpower left. I have been drilling my troops. They are... somewhat effective. 
actually there's a lot of you who are just not. Um, manpower is the main thing I have as an advantage. I have a lot of money. I am very wealthy. Can I do a Scottish accent? Uh, possibly. Um, from Scotland. I live in Edinburgh. I'm from Scotland. Where are you from? I mean, it's more of a Northern English accent than a Scottish one. I struggle with that one. I'm much better with Irish. The Dimmy estate gains 10 influence. Cool. Wait, can I exploit that? No. Disappointing. Alright. We're going to co you. Oh, I could call Poland in. And we've been buddies forever. I mean, this is just the kind of thing that I would call Poland in for. Yeah, you can go and cause Russia all kinds of nightmares. Let's do it. Let's do this. Oh, I... What's... Ardalan's thing? <laughs> I totally forgot to look what the uh, war goal actually was going to be. Where is Ardalan? It's one of these. There it is. So I need you to take Ardalan. Go. Russia has accepted an offer to hire troops from Denmark. And Oman wants access against Baluchistan and Molwa. No, but I'm actually going to give you access. Offer access. Oh, you don't want it anymore. All right, then. And the cores are being finished. I could have the mission of accumulate money. How much would I need to accumulate? 1,500. That would also be fairly easy to do. Uh, do I want the temp Tempest Deed? It's pretty nice. And you're attacking me here. This is... Mountains. So this will be a fairly good example of whether my armies can actually hold out here or not. I see the difference in quality. Plus I have another 30k on the way, so I'm not that worried. Oh yeah, we're smashing them. We have got military tactics of 2.3, but so do they. We have a lot more morale. Better troops. And they had better leadership. We do have a land fire damage. That's pretty cool. You don't need to go there anymore. That's also mountain. That's a terrible place to go. We'll let them deal with us rather than vice versa. What is the score looking like right now? I am well ahead of Ming. I even have more develop. No, I don't have more development than Ming. But I'm miles ahead of everyone else. So if Ming wasn't doing so terribly in technology, then they would be first in the world. But I've been the greatest power for a while. Russia is growing, though. Russia is definitely growing. Uh, Spain improving, too. Ottomans are on the way down. England. I cannot believe that England recovered. I'm still astonished by this fact. Scotland had almost wiped England out, and then somehow they came back. Where are you going? Mush? Kind of disappointed that I didn't catch you here. Can I see what... Okay, you're not going to show me what that province is. Okay. Okay, it's Highlands. So fighting in there would have been better. Expansion of the Malitaya Madrash. The Madrash of Malitaya has been has been gaining repute, not only as a centre of Shafi learning, but also for the sheikhs from other schools. Maliki scholars from other parts of the world have in particular made a name for themselves at the Malatiya Madrash, and as a result, both the institution itself and the adjoining market districts and the bustling city as a whole are growing rapidly. So we can gain prestige, base tax and production. Or... everything goes bad. Oh, I see. Um, Dolkadir has a reduction in tax modifier and goods produced. For two free stuff? Yeah, I'll take it. 
I like to throw. Hello. That's that's a lot of men coming. Uh, horse march here. Is that mountain? No, all of this is sodding mountain. Of course it is. <laughs> 